the hell is it? <laughs> Why, hello everyone. Hi, Z. Hi. Welcome to a new video where we went to the Ubisoft booth yesterday and we're actually filming the impressions of the day because we didn't have time yesterday. Went to the Ubisoft booth, we saw Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag and the new South Park game, Stick of Truth. Stick of Truth. Yes, yes, I got that right. Anyway, I'll do um, I'll do the Assassin's Creed one because I was kind of, I don't really watch South Park or everything to do with that one. And then I'll let Z go to that one. Assassin's Creed 4 was pretty cool. We went down and saw some single player gameplay and uh, he did like a, game, a demo walkthrough kind of thing, uh, which is pretty sweet because they're showing off pretty much uh, the fact that they, you know, refined some things, they added some new weapons. Uh, there was like some kind of poison blow dart that would make people go insane and kill things, uh, including animals and iguanas. Uh, there's sharks, dolphins. Animals? Should the animals can get poisoned? No, I was saying the guy would kill the animals. Oh, okay. <laughs> he turned into me. Anyway, so that was weird. Anyway, so uh, we saw the single player demo and uh, he showed, you know, ship gameplay and then land gameplay and uh, ship battle too. So there's like a bunch of things you can do, you can recruit crew to your fleet. Uh, Dan was talking about this this idea that every single game developer here kind of like, uh, well, a good amount of them like Destiny and Assassin's Creed and The Witcher, like they, they point out to this like into the horizon and like, you see that over there? That's not a skybox, you can go there. It's an open world. You can go anywhere you want. The world was like he he zoomed out and kind of saw. He showed like the entire area of the Caribbean, and it was pretty huge. So it was still pretty cool. Um, I'm trying to think what else. They they also kind of showed off the integration that they have with the the tablets and you know being able to do everything you can do on the game, but with your tablet, so you can. Uh, send off contracts for you know your assassins in different parts on your tablet even if you're not playing the game so you can get like XP that way uh, I think that's about it do you remember anything else uh, no I just pretty much just the things that I like I like the the pirate battles and I'm hoping do you know if there's gonna be any kind of like multiplayer option where you can have like pirate battles and stuff I don't know I would assume they would do some kind of, but they might not. So we're going to have to do something like that pirate creature battle. Yeah, if they had like you get on ships and face each other and try and board, it would be pretty sweet. So looking forward to that. Now, stick of truth. Hey guys, what's going on? I'm Kutra. No, I'm not. I'm Dan. Okay, so Z and I and James and Coots, we all checked out South Park, the Stick of Destiny yesterday. Z, what were your immediate thoughts after that? Go back to that time yesterday when we checked that out. South Park? Yeah. Uh, it was cool. It was very smooth. I actually like the look of it. Um, it looks pretty much just like the TV show. Like, the, like in the past, there's always been like TV show games that get made or games that are made from cartoons, and they have like these weird-looking 3D models, and it's just like. Yeah, I completely agree because it looks exactly like the show. It looks like you're playing the show. That's actually that's actually kind of how they did it because they have cutscenes. It's kind of like you're just watching an episode of South Park, and. Yeah, but it's it's like essentially it's like if I mean it's a South Park RPG, so it has so many RPG elements. They make fun of Skyrim in there and stuff like that. They have like shouts, but instead of shouts, you're like farting and stuff like that. There's parts where you're, like there are torches around to attack your enemies. You'll like fart into your hand. You'll cup your hand behind your butt. You'll fart and then you'll throw the fart, and it, it will ignite the people through the flames. There's a dildo weapon. That is true. A vibrator, a vibrator, not just a dildo. They had a lot of really cool random ass things. I mean, it's it's like it's it looks like a fun RPG game that's just like applied with the South Park humor. Like the battles, if if an enemy walks up and they hit you, it, it like triggers this kind of like Final Fantasy battle where yeah, I was it's. Thinking, I was like, what game was it that that playstyle was from? Is Final Fantasy? Yeah. It was like turn-based stuff where like they would attack, you would attack, they would attack, you would attack. It's kind of like Pokemon too, but yeah, I mean, yeah. they had a lot of like when you were choosing your stuff, they had like parody, Dragonborn kind of Skyrim sounding soundtrack stuff. It was just, it was hilarious and awesome and funny. Anything else you? Uh, not really. I think, uh, I believe it's single player. I think that's the only thing that disappointed me. I would have loved to have some random shenanigans in that game with friends, but I don't know. It se yeah, it seemed like it would have lent pretty well to co-op. Well, the, no, the thing was... You were playing as the new kid, but there was actually, uh, Butters was following you around a little bit, so maybe that, I mean, we didn't really ask, and they're maybe they already announced that it, it's co-op. It's just something I've, it's just something I've heard, so. Yeah, I don't know. Because Butters is running around following you, so maybe there's co-op down the road, I don't know. But anyway, so yeah, that was our thoughts on, uh, South Park and, uh, 
the Assassin's Creed for Black Flag. So, thank you. Watch more creature coverage of E3 on, uh, on the hub here. Click the playlist in the description. And, uh, yeah, have fun like we're having fun. So we're going to have fun. Last day at E3. Last day. Bye. 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 <laughs>